Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way of how to set up Redux store in React. Now, to add Redux to your React app, the first thing you need to do is actually install it into your app. I'm in Visual Studio Code, so I'm going to go to Terminal, but you can use any command line. And here, to install Redux, what you want to do is type npm install Redux, react-redux, dash dash save dash dev and hit enter so this will install redux now we can close this terminal and in your react app go ahead and type import create store from redux now that we have it installed we have that available import provider connect use selector use dispatch from react redux now the next thing you want to do is create a reducer and in this simple reducer example we'll create a couple of actions for adding and subtracting a number you can extend this reducer later for more complex actions so let's go ahead and create a reducer const count reducer you can name it anything you want equals function here the first argument you want it to be state set it to some default value so we're going to be working with simple number in state so i'm just going to use zero and the second argument is the action so inside this reducer you want to create a switch statement and it's going to take this action and check for the property called type, which will determine the type of an action. We'll see how that works in a later step. And so let's say it's an action called add for adding a number. In this case, we will return state plus one. So it's zero by default. State plus one is going to create a copy of the state and return this copy back from this reducer to update the original state again. Now, the second case is going to be subtract. And here we're gonna do the same thing, but with subtraction. And the switch statement will usually take a default value if no action is available. And in this case, we simply return state unaffected by any of those changes. Okay, and so we have just created our first reducer. And remember how we imported the create store function from Redux earlier. So now what you want to do is create that store. So how do we create a Redux store? It's just a global variable. Const store equals create store. And what you want to do is pass this reducer that we created into that store, create store function. Now, the way Redux works, it does a lot of stuff for us automatically. So that's why it might seem a little confusing as to what's going on. But it does give us the ability to map state to props and map the dispatch actions like these ones also to props. And in order to do that, we are going to create two functions called map state to props and map dispatch to props again redux will do a lot of stuff in the background but it does require us to create these functions so let's go ahead and create map state to props first const map state to props equals state return we're going to name this variable count and place the state object as a value of this variable. Now, the second function is map dispatch to props. Map dispatch to props equals dispatch, which is the dispatch object. Return. And here we want to map these two actions into actual functions. So we need to create a function for each action. One of the actions was add. 
using the dispatch function. And the way it works is that there are action types. So type add and the second one subtract and it will use subtract. So this is the type from this reducer. Remember how we have case add and subtract? Well, these functions mapped by this function map dispatch to props, Redux in the background will connect everything for us, but it is required that we create this function with all of our actions return as an object here. So now we are actually ready to create our container component. And we do that by first creating the component and then we're going to use the connect function to put it all together. So first const component. And first I'm just going to create a really simple component. Let's just say all it does is show our count variable from our global state. If I'm going to use the count, I also have to pass it as one of the arguments here. Just don't forget to use the brackets because we're going to be adding multiple arguments later. So here's our component. Let's say I'm going to render it here. And here's our component being rendered. And the reason it doesn't have count is because we haven't connected our store to this component using the container. And so we're going to connect everything together in the next step. Now you have to create a container for this component. And the reason it's not showing the actual count is because we're not using a provider yet. So when you're using Redux with this store, what you also want to do is not only just use the component, but wrap that in the provider object, provider. And in this provider, you want to use the store to pass the store object into all of those components here. Now we're getting a lot closer to connecting it all together. To connect our component, we're going to create a container, const container equals connect. And we're going to use this connect function that we imported earlier from here. So let's go ahead and create container, use the connect. And so here's where it all comes together. We're going to add this map state to props function into connect. Now we're going to take map dispatch to props and drop it here as well. And finally, we're going to pass into the second parenthesis, this name of this component to link it all together. Now I have to replace our component now with our container because that's what we're going to be using from now on. That's what links it all together container. Now, as you can see, we are now displaying count as a global state. Now you can add buttons to change that state. So I'm going to go ahead and create a wrapper here and I'm going to create a button and call it add and another button called subtract. And so to add the actual handler event, I'm going to create on click and for the second button as well. And so what you want to pass here is the name of these functions over here from map dispatch to props. So I'm going to pass this here and here. And you also need to pass it here with the count. So add here and subtract. So as soon as you do that, everything comes together. We have our store object here and our event handlers will change our global store using our actions and we are rendering it here in our provider. From now on, if you click on these buttons, it will actually change the state in our global state object by triggering these actions we created earlier. So if we click on add, it's gonna add one to state. If you click on subtract button, it's gonna subtract from the value. 